Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. My name is Mooney and I want to thank you for joining me today. So in this episode we're going to do another recipe. Um, the base for this recipe I made a while back. Um, this is the iced version of it. For some reason, whatever it is, I'm kind of getting into menthols and uh, the culottas, uh, WS3. Um, of course the fact that it's 100 degrees outside probably has something to do with it. Um, so I thought I would go back and make an iced version of it. Um, so this is my Just Another Apple Juice, the Iced Edition. Alright, let's go to the mixing table and let's this take a look at the rest of my it. Just Another Apple Juice. Um, actually, we're going to make the iced version of it. So we are going to start with a quarter percent of an aware cactus. So a quarter percent is 0.16. All right. So now next one is going to be zero is going to be Capella's double apple. And we are going to put this one in at 2%, which is 1.23. Alright, and the apples, um, we're actually using three apples in this recipe. Um, the apples are kind of dry. That's the point of having the cactus in it. Um, so our next ingredient is Flavor Art Fuji Apple. We want 3% of that, which is going to be And now our next one is going to be TFA Pear. Okay. We are going to be using a quarter of a percent of that, which is 0.15. The pear, along with the cactus, uh, adds moisture to it. But because apples are kind of light, you don't want to just throw a whole bunch of cactus at it. Because then it'll just taste like cactus pear instead of apple. The pear flavor is pretty light. It doesn't really come through, but it goes really well with the apples. Uh, <clears throat> so the next one is TFA's Tart Green Apple. Make sure that it's the Tart Green Apple and not the Tart Granny Smith Apple, because that one does not isn't very good. So this adds kind of a green apple to it, um, like it says. Um, we're going to be using, only using a quarter of a percent, which is also 0.15. This is kind of like a, a Jolly Rancher flavor to it. Uh, not exactly, but kind of. Alright, so next, of course, we're going to add our sweetener, and 0.75 of this is going to be 0.58. That's 0.58 grams, and it's three quarters of 1%, so 0.75. Just in case I wasn't making that clear. All right, now we're going to add our coolants to it. And I am using a combination of coolants. I am using WS3 and Culotta both. 
both at a half a percent, which means both of them are going to be 0 0.31. second one all right and that's it for this mix and I'm gonna put the fillers in it and I'll see you back up top pretty simple straightforward recipe um, you have three different apples, you have Capella's Double Apple, Flavor Arts Fuji Apple, and TFA's uh, Tart Green Apple. Not Granny Smith, Tart Green. Granny Smith is not good. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with the bottle of that I got, but it's not good. Um, so your two apples, your Double Apple and your Fuji, that's a pretty standard mix and a pretty standard ratio. Uh, a lot of mixers use it. It's really nice, but it is dry. Um, the tart green apple does add some moisture. It also adds kind of a candy finish. Um, it adds kind of a sourness to it, but not, not a lot of sour. Um, so then you add into that the cactus and the pear. Um, TFA pear and, or FA pear, either one is fine to use in this one. Um, Whichever one you have or whichever one you prefer. The TFA is the one that I have. Um, they're just there to add moisture. To make it an apple juice and not an apple candy. Um, or an apple pie or filling or any of that stuff. It makes it a true apple juice. Um, and of course other than that the only thing you have is sweetener and then cool it. So. I mean it's a pretty straightforward recipe. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I haven't actually... Um, until this time I haven't made the iced version of it. I know what my coolants are, what levels I like them at. Turn them down to half of that. Go with just one. Whatever you prefer on those. Um, this is just my personal mix. <laughs> Coolant. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... I've been vaping a lot more of the um, the toffee and then the um, the cherry mix that I made the last two days. Um, so yeah, that kind of hit hard. Um, as always, flavor checking on my Wasp Nano. Um, so the idea for this kind of came to me because I was overloaded with strawberry. I'm somewhat strawberry blind as I've mentioned before. Um, so I just got tired of fighting with trying to make a strawberry that I could taste and taste well. Um, so I decided, screw it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an apple. Something different. Um, so the original mix for this, um, I grew up in the 80s, as I've said before. Um, and back then we would go to, when we, when we were in school and go through lunch, if you didn't want milk um, to go with your lunch, you could get um, juices, and one of the juices that they had was a very generic apple juice. It was a plastic container with a tin foil top on it that you stabbed a straw through. Um, and that's what it was. You got orange juice in the same thing. Um, haven't tried to go for that orange flavor, but uh, never really was. It's not really something I like all that much. But anyway, I like the apple juice. Um, and this is pretty much exactly what this tastes like. So if, you, if you're if you about my age, maybe a little older, maybe a little younger. I don't know how long it lasted, but... Um, so it's, it's going to be very reminiscent of that. It's just a plain generic, not another apple juice. Well, this is just another apple juice. Um, and now I have an iced version of it because it's 100 degrees outside. So as always, guys, that's kind of it for me on this one. So as always... Um, thank you so much for, for watching, uh, especially if you watched this far. Don't forget the merch. If you want to find me on ELR, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook page, all of that stuff, hashtag AlabamaVapeMob. 
you'll find it all just google it uh usual links are down in the description thank you again so much for coming by please take a moment and click the like button uh comment subscribe if you like what you see and yeah as always especially right now y'all have a good one and be safe